Hi, I'm Pam with OCN Recipes, and this week I have a guest, Debbie, to help show me and you how to make homemade mayonnaise. And this is especially important because Turkey Day is coming up, and we're gonna maybe all have a lot of leftover turkey if we're not gonna have a lot of people over, and the best thing to eat for me leftover turkey is a turkey, cold turkey sandwich with lots of mayo. So yeah, Debbie. Like Thank you for having me, Pam. I'm Thank really you. excited. I'm going to share with you today my grandmother's homemade mayonnaise recipe oh, from Texas. Me. I'm originally from Texas. This goes way back. I remember as a little girl having this, and um, my mom making it was always special to have. Yeah. And so it's really, really simple. Don't be intimidated by it. So let's get going. It probably tastes better yeah. than the store stuff, right? Actually, it does, and it lasts quite a while in the refrigerator as awesome. well. Do you know two how long it lasts? Two to three weeks. Oh, that's even, pretty good. Even with a raw egg in the mixture, it's fine. Never had an issue with it. Okay. So, one egg. Here we go. Put the whole thing in. Whole thing. Okay. Don't get any shell in there, y'all. All right. That's right. And, you know, you just said that, and I got shell in there. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That's all right. We'll keep going. <laughs> <laughs> of course. You said that. I'll eat the shell. Okay. Half a teaspoon of salt, and we've got Himalayan pink salt here. Let's really right. try to make, this is really an organic recipe, other maybe than we get to the French's mustard. Mm -hmm. um, but that, we've got half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to just show you guys how well loved this recipe is. I was looking at that like, wow, that yeah. looks like treasure, know, like sunken is, treasure. Actually, um, our producer over here, I told him how long I probably had it. He goes, oh, it's older than I am. It's like, oh, well, that age is me. That tells you. Yes, so. All right. So and let then, me know if I should do something. Well, I'll tell you what. You can put the paprika in here momentarily. Okay. Okay, so we've got our egg, half a teaspoon of salt. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of pepper and... There is no, this is to taste. Yeah. Right? Okay, so you wanna add some paprika? And you probably could do um, cayenne pepper or like different, like it doesn't have to be exact, doesn't have right? To, How much do you want in here? Like, I think that's probably good. Yeah, okay. that's great. Hmm. Okay. All right, okay. now here comes, this is the key thing the egg and the mustard, that's the okay. emulsifiers. Oh, okay. okay. And so that's what makes it collide. Collaguate. Let me see if that's open. It is. I've already done it. Oh, you did? Yeah. You're awesome. I'm on She's it. She's on it. I'm on it. I was worried. I was trying to help her. She doesn't need it. All right. Let's do this or it's going to go That's why Debbie's on the show. Over the place. She knows what's up. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're filling that tablespoon of yes. yellow mustard. Yes. Tablespoon of yellow mustard. And can you do brown? Or yes, you, you can. Okay. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. We'll make two. You'll get, you get to do this next. You could probably put some horseradish in there. There's I mean, all kinds of things. Wild. No, yes. it's great because you can make it like as a sauce for, for fish, for salmon, right. for vegetables, for chicken, for your Thanksgiving turkey. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just going to mix this. It's not going to matter. So we've got one apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar one, tablespoon, one tablespoon, and two, two tablespoons. Now comes the mayonnaise. And part. you can whisk this, right? By hand. Is, does uh, it not turn out? No, not mm. really. Okay. No, you really need to do it either in a food processor or actually blender. a blender's better. Would a hand mixer work too? I've never tried it, okay. potentially. Yeah. I just don't know that you quite get the emulsification that you need. I'm obsessed with options. Okay. I love talking about different ways to do things, do things. different flavors. Sure. Well, I was used to doing it in a, in a blender mm -hmm. and then um, got my Vitamix and it works really well in this. Now for olive oil, do you like just regular olive oil, extrovert, like there's kind of a few different kinds. Well, the original kind of Texas way is you would do it with Crisco, right? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> so what we're doing now is we're going to do olive oil and I've changed it. It makes the flavor a little bit more dense, mm -hmm. not quite as slight, but it's still good. I and, often buy the olive oil from the store. I like it. Good a little healthier. for you. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. My grandma did always have Crisco as well. It's okay. like an old school ingredient. All right. Now we're going to start. I'm going to start on variable speed. I'm going to start very, very slow. And then what you do is you gradually add the oil in. Okay. And I want you to listen. Listen. Your, your eyes, your ears. Your eyes, your ears. Listen you know? to see when you think it's emulsified. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I've emulsified before. Well, You're going to teach me the sound we go. of emulsification. Uh-oh, you know what? We need electricity. Oh, there you go. Okay. Now things are happening. 
Are you listening? Yes. I don't know what, what it sounds like, that doesn't sound right, but it's not there yet. Gradually increasing the speed. So you can tell I didn't really. I can really yeah. tell. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it just it sounds thicker. You're so used to making it. I, I suppose yeah. you know some trial and error in here. Yeah. Right? And see. Oh, how it's, it's not moving. Yeah. Oh, it's almost okay. okay. All right. So. So we movement will also. This out. And now this is a little darker. I guess it's the pepper when the paprika. It looks a little darker than like. The real white. then the white man yeah that you yes. would buy in the store yeah. it looks so pale right maybe it's more flavorful with the color than the pale stuff yeah it's your mustard mustard your base so okay you want to try that I do take a little try carrot it. or a little okay piece yeah of I'll chicken. Do carrot. I like mayonnaise so so back in the day when the white bread was okay for you to eat <laughs> the very best thing was to have white bread. And I literally mm. remember as a little girl going and getting the homemade mayo mayonnaise. sandwiches. Mayo <laughs> sandwiches mm -hmm. and just eating mayonnaise on white bread. Yes. I would probably put a slice of cheese in it, and I would. Yeah. Eat it. So what do you think? I like it. It's so good. It's more tangy, mm -hmm. more flavorful, and it just gets my mind going more wild of other ways I could play with this. And with everyone, like so many people being stuck at home, there's not a lot of ingredients here. And right. This is how you learn to cook. Absolutely. Even if there's no handball, you don't need to still cooking and tasting. Well, and experimenting. Well, it is, and I mean, you know, if you want to spice up your salmon, like I said, mm -hmm. or your, your fish dishes, um, this is really good at Christmas um, as well. We like to do, I like to do brisket at mm, Christmas time. Yeah. Brisket sandwich, oh my goodness, yes, very, very good. I think for fish, too, maybe, could you do some lemon juice in there and make yeah. it a little yes. lemony? Mm -hmm. That just seems like, yeah. maybe some um, zest, zested in there. So, you, would you like to try this? Should we give it a whirl? Yeah, we can. We've got a couple of alternatives here that you brought. Okay. We're using Dijon mustard. I'll go. Um, and a little bit of rosemary. And Let's just make sure I do it sure. right. So I'm okay. cracking an egg. Crack your egg. <clears throat> Try to not to get any shell. I didn't taste any shell in there. Really. There okay. it is. Okay, half a teaspoon of this stuff. Okay. There's that. Okay. And the pepper. A little splash of pepper. And this stuff, paprika. Yes. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go lighter on the pepper. Sure. Maybe not lighter on the paprika. And then and we then have just, this mustard. Uh, just go ahead and use that. Can we skip top. this then if we're going to do the brown? Exactly. There's brown in here. We're going to use use brown mustard. Okay. Yeah. So you want all of that. You okay. With a full tablespoon. Okay, sounds good. Oops, got a lot on the side there, but you know. That's okay. Should all we try? Right. Oh, we need this stuff. That. You need two Jesus. tablespoons. Actually, you can just pour the rest of that in. Okay, too. that looks we're I think it's about it. right. We're close. Yeah, just go for it. Get in there. And the then, ingredient. Okay, now pour your olive oil oh, yeah, for your cup. This is important. It's <laughs> probably the main part. Do we want to try the rosemary? Oh, I was trying oh, yes, to yes, 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 we do. Off. Add that. Okay. Here, you do that. I do that. And then I'll you can put the. This is just rosemary. some rosemary. We're going to drop a piece on the floor and then we're going to put some in here. Give it a little fun, little herby flavor. Rosemary and chicken, so turkey, whatever goes well with that. Chicken goes well with turkey. Well, actually, rosemary goes really well with. I like to take rosemary sprigs and cut up the skin and stick it inside the turkey mm. and bake it. I've done that with turkey. sage, where you like. <laughs> okay, now and let me help you out steak. here just a second. Whoopsie. Do, do, do. Sleeves. Sleeves. Okay. All right, we're going to start back here at one. One. And turn it on and then start going. And then, yeah. Okay, turn it on, and then very slowly. Very add. slowly, not very patient. Go ahead. Is that slow enough? That's slow enough. Now okay. start turning your speed up. Do that now? Yes. Turning, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. A little bit faster on the oil. Okay. Turn your speed up. Keep going. Turn that on all the way up. All the way? Yes. There you go. Keep going.
almost want to taste the yeah. tea. Oh yeah. I did not bring it in here. Yeah, that's perfect. So yeah, they still look similar even so though I similar even though you did the brown they, they do. They both have and the leftover was in there, so yeah, not very much out. though. But that's the one thing is you can just build it one on top of the other and um, generally if you're going to make one you might as well make two so that you have enough. Yes, and it depends right how much you're using. Oh, I don't have bread. Let's do that. I can, I can eat right on that. Let's go for it. Okay. Alright, here is the Dijon rosemary. Bon appetit. Class, Cheers. Classy. Bread and mayo. Yum. Mm. Oh, that's good. It does taste kind of, it reminds me of egg salad. I know there's an egg in there, but, you know, just that flavor, it's really, really tasty. Worth it, making it at home. So if you like this recipe, and you want to see more recipes, you want us to make more condiments or, or anything, make a comment below the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, because we're always doing just all kinds of fun things that I'm seeing recipes. That's Let right. us know what you want to see. Thank you for watching. Yeah, thanks for having me. Happy Thanksgiving.